Today I'm doing the shelfy book tag, so let's do this. Hi everybody, it's Lydia here. So this tag was created by Daisy at A Thousand Lives of Daisy and I was also tagged by her so I'll link her in the description below, go check her out. So this tag is just a series of questions about shelves. <laughs> So let's do this. Question number one, how many bookshelves do you have assigned to books? I have, I think, about eight. There are six on here and two on here, and um, it's nowhere near enough. When I get a new flat in the next year or so, I am gonna buy a giant bookshelf and just have somewhere for all my books because, oh my God, I hate having tiny bookshelves. Look at this, this is so small. I'm so jealous of all you people who have giant bookshelves. I can't even tell you how jealous I am. Question number two, how do you decorate them? I don't really decorate my bookshelves. Again, a lot of this is because the bookshelves themselves are so small. Um, I did try decorating them once, but I just found I was constantly moving things to be able to get to the books and I got really annoyed with them, so I just took everything off. Question number three, a master burglar comes in and steals your most prized books off your shelves. Which ones are they? Well, obviously, because this is a master burglar, he would steal my Lord of the Rings collection because oh, Bilbo. If he was me, as in I, if I was a master burglar and I was stealing books from someone's bookshelf and I was stealing books from my bookshelf because they weren't my books, if that makes sense, I would steal um, the Mime Order because it's signed and I love it and it's beautiful but you know there are loads of them so it doesn't particularly have any particular wealth at the moment, at least not right now. In a decade when everyone understands how brilliant this book series is it will be worth tons but right now it's not worth like very much question number four what is the biggest book on your bookshelf if my complete works of shakespeare were here it would by a mile be that but as it is i think it's probably les mis because it weighs a ton i mean they call it a brick for a reason question number five what book has sat on your shelf for the longest i think the tulip touch is the oldest book i have on my bookshelf this was 1996 um, so it's not really in the grand scheme of things very old. This is a really good book by the way, like I want to read this again even though it's like a, I read this when I was what eight years old <laughs> so it's quite a long time ago but I really want to reread it again because it's a really it was a really good book and um, I really loved it and if you haven't read it or you if you haven't read it I would read it but if you have um, young kids around kind of seven or eight years old I would recommend reading it because it's a really good book. Question number six what is the prettiest spine on your bookshelf and honestly I looked through my bookshelf and I don't have that many really pretty spines I think the night circus is quite pretty but I've gone for a place called here by Cecilia Ahern um, it doesn't have a particularly defined spine it's just kind of where the actual cover has just overlapped over it but it stuck out when I was looking down my bookshelf for a pretty spine so I've gone for that. Question number seven what is the most expensive book? I think in terms of now expense it's probably S I actually only spent 12 quid on this but I think now they were they cost 20 quid um, but it was more than worth it. Question number eight, where are your shelves? They're here, <laughs> first of all. They're in my bedroom because yeah, they're in a really stupid position in my bedroom. The door, which you can't see but it's over there um, and there's a wardrobe behind you which means that it's a really tiny walkway to get from the door to the rest of the room. Um, they're in a really stupid position but I have a really awkward shaped room so what can you do question number nine is take your best shelfie so let's do this it's totally blurred i'm not gonna lie that is it for today i am gonna tag tamara at tamara woods and janie at bookworms buddy i've linked them both in the description below go check them out they're really awesome anyway that's it for today i will see you again soon but until then bye